you played Atlanta. You obviously on the show that represents Atlanta. What is what does that place mean to you? Mm. The first time I went to Atlanta, I was um, very pleasantly surprised to see that everyone there was black. I didn't know such a place existed in uh, in the U.S. And you know, I, you know, I'm from San Bernardino, which is right, you know, a little hour thirty north of here, L.A. And it is. You know, you, you got a lot of different influx of cultures, but you don't see black people populating in, in like, you know, the bankers, they're working at the airport, they're, you know, everywhere you go, there's a black person that's employed there. And I just thought it was really beautiful. And it made me feel like, wow, the potential of what, you know, black people can be when we're congregated together and the, the, and what we can accomplish together. And to, to, to be on this show that was like a real, you know, like we were, we're taking the black experience and kind of like trying to polarize it and make it digestible and understandable to people that may not understand it and also lend voices to those who, you know, feel how it feels to be black and exist and be black. And what I was really inspired by was Donald, you know, having come from the area and having, you know, been able to get to a point where he was able to bring his city back and express his city to the masses um, through his perspective. And that was something that I thought was real special and that more of us should be doing. It's taking ownership of our narrative and him being the one that's pinning it. It's like nobody else is telling us what blackness looks like. This is coming uniquely from a black man. You know, you get a lot of scripts and it's written by other people who don't live our experience and they want to tell us what being black is, which is also why I think it's important to be selective. We need to get your point of view on that. I, I advise all players um, and athlete, well, athletes and, and artists that I meet I say buy something in Atlanta. I say I don't I don't mm. buy a house for your baby mama, why, your why? mama. Why Atlanta? <laughs> well, why? I have a house in Atlanta. Why Atlanta? Because <laughs> you're not playing from a defensive position. Atlanta's more than just a black city. It's it, it's a city. 1906, there was a huge riot there, right? Um, a, something gets worked out between the white class and the black class to say, hey, we're going to be a southern city that destroys itself. And at this time, it's, it's known for trains. Trains are coming through here. All the commerce that comes through the southeast, all the freight is coming through there. And they're like, yo, we can't do this again. So the, the, the first black millionaires, people like um, Alonzo Herndon, who started with barbershops that was all black barbers, but only served white businessmen. And then he learned about insurance. He said, well, we don't have life insurance and insurance. So he became, and he started getting, becoming a broker for insurance, built the largest, and this is now, again, this is like 1900, early 1900, built the Atlanta Life Insurance Company. Atlanta has always been this peculiar, this peculiar cooperation between blacks and whites. William Hartsfield, white mayor, understood that aviation was the future. Trains weren't going to be the future. Gave Delta like a 50-year contract for a dollar a year. They ran them out of town, ridiculed them. But that contract made us a huge Delta hub. You see black people leading from the woman that put me on the billboard Delta up there who leads their marketing to the woman, to the people who literally, when you land a plane, unless you go into Jamaica or Africa, you don't see all black crews. And I would like to see more black people and white people who are truly allies and co-conspirators to bring your ass to Atlanta, make a real investment, and help this city grow so that we may be the prototype for what we want to see other cities throughout the South become. Tell me. Love that. Love yes. that. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Please. Yeah.